Hello everybody, it's me Gepardo. I'm here to comment you a beautiful game on the Call of It channel. A huge, huge game I watched on the Artem Pro stream. Uh, it's a very long game, very long game. Everybody's playing Spain, the Meta Gods nation. Do -do -do. Look. So beautiful and then yes we will see what will happen in this uh, crazy game i asked uh, to my general asapito to save me the replay you can as well watch this game on the artem pro stream in the artem's view uh, then you can see different things i guess so we have artem pro union mike Union Nexus and KRS Dandy versus KRS Antoha is trolling with the Ego Clan Tag for some reason. We have Kajir Asap, Kajir Ahmed Dito and Kajir Catwizzle, the legendary Catwizzle. One of the best, even if, if it's not the best player of Cossack Swarm. At least one generation that is currently not playing at all he was there just for the show and to visit us and finally he played such an amazing game bikes for everybody of course no need to say we it's unnecessary or crazy to make shooters with Spain because they have really strong pikemans, slow production, but they are really strong compared to normal pikemans. Um, I think it's a captures off game, but we will see. This it's captures on maybe I'm saying bad stuff. So we have the Union guy raiding with siege Cossacks to disturb their opponent and try to grind some marches there. You can as well try to find the fourth gold mine, the last gold mine, when you build it and when your opponent is building it and then you can you can deny it for 30 seconds or 1 minute to get a little advantage on gold you have the siege dance as well there for Ahmed versus Union Mike Ahmed is winning there we have Asapito fighting versus Dendi I will sit on that view for a moment and then we will gonna change a little. And you can see the different views of the map, the map control of the players. Union has better they see all the all their part of the map, better vision, and you have a hole there which is not really good from Antoha and Ahmed, they must have vision, I think. Everybody's quite okay in this game for now. I didn't see a gold mine lose. A gold mine loss. I don't know how to say sorry for my French English. Asapito is lucky because he's in front, but he have Dandy and Mike in front of him. It could be worse if he got Artem, for example. 
because Artem is basically the best player of this game. I don't know for how many times, but for now, he's the king. We have Antocha fighting with Mike there, rebooting him. This gold mine stay alive. And the two front sides in touch there and there. Catwizzle will get a gun mine there. He chose to back, not take this fight. Maybe he don't have enough upgrades. Nexus take a good position there on the Catwizzle gold mines. He will take this, those two gold mines, I think. Or maybe not. Ah, Bob. I will try to take it. Asapito making pressure on Danditos. One gold mine take there. He will lose his army, but make damage and take a gold mine. It's worth for him. And here you have uh, a classic Antocha coming in the base of Ahmed in his back. Oh no, it's not Ahmed. What I'm saying, it's Union Mike. Sorry, guys. I saw Brown there and I was confused. Ay 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 ay, this is a really really sad story for Mike. Two town hall, one gold mine, one market, and one diplomatic center. This is. this is Antoha, basically. This is because yeah they didn't have vision there or maybe somebody didn't follow the, the guy. Uh, there is a lot of stuff happening in this game, so guys, I'm sorry if I don't show everything because it's hard. And uh, yeah, for now. Um, the Union's team, I would say, are 3 versus 4 almost. And Catwizzle is in some dangerous position. And Toha need to defend, defend against Nexus. While this time Ahmed and Asap are doing well on, on the front. Now they don't have the pressure of Mike there, so The lost in academy, it's capture zone. It's capture zone, I think. I don't understand why those people didn't guard it there. Their minds 13 minute dragons for Atem. He's fast with the shooters because he knows now he have a disadvantage, he need to help the other side. Here you have Antoha getting crushed by the double attack from Nexus. He will basically lose a lot as well. Market. Town Hall. And it's Capture Zone or off. I'm fucking confused sometimes. Sounds like it's on. 
Asapito tried to kill Mr. Dandy and with Ahmed because of course they are 2v1 now. And Artem will try to save the day. And Mike cannot do anything, I think he don't have any resources, check. Yes, he cannot build, he needs to wait 15 minutes to get uh, some resources from his partners. And now Union are in really dangerous position because they basically lost two base. And yeah, it's a huge disadvantage. Cat Weasel lost a little. Antor has crippled as well, but they have still mines, they have still peasants working. And uh, base production with army units, so now Nexus need to handle one V two there for a moment. While Artem give time to to his two friends, Mike and Dendi to, to recover, to rebuild the position. Now we will, now we will start to, to see proper fight, I mean, I won't move the camera anymore, not a lot, I mean. Artem is pressuring Asapito. Ahmed went back for some weird reason. And Artem is doing a nice job there. That's with Asap. Asap wait a good moment to engage. Be back a little. Re engage again. Artem is winning this fight. I think Ahmedito must uh, st stand in, f in front his, with his units. Ahmedito, but yeah, for some reason he went back and just a bit far, far west. And while this time we have Nexus will get engaged by Antoha and Catweasel on the other side. Catweasel is taking some mines here. Antoha is pressuring Nexus to relocate his army. And the choice of Nexus is not that bad. It he knows that he's 2v1, so uh, Artem just took the base literally of Asap so he chose to save all his army and peasants to wait uh, regroupment from everybody and try to go back and take back this place instead of losing all units stupidly that's not a bad decision making to be honest and this is because of this kind of decision making this game will be really long if when I say really long, it means you will hear my shit noise for more than one hour, Bobby and Bobby's. And look at this Artem guy. guy. Look at him. Let's check. Artem, please, stop. Where, where is this? Let's check if he don't have scripted units. Huh? 
Uh-huh. 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 <gasps> Look, the Sarchis, they have 100. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's just Artem, guys. That guy. Antoha will need to back because the Union and Kares guy regroup and look at this beautiful team play. Artem is hunting the game almost alone. Catwezel is raiding here, which is not a bad idea. And Artem went into the base of Ahmed. He just. I didn't see this part of the game because I, I came at 30 minutes, you know? So. Wow. What, what a huge comeback. And I would say it's because of Ahmed's mis mistakes this time. So now, what we got there? Two base versus one base, one half base, one half base. So we have two base versus two base. You know how to count. <laughs> now we have as well. Then the no, then they have full production now. So. Toha is trying to push Kill the rally points How my Bob Lexus would say It's gonna be interesting And I need to say I'm sorry guys if you hear me flame a little with that stone manito the other day. The other day it was stupid for us. We are both fucking flamer and toxic sometimes. So Union will take back entirely their side. If you watch the map, you don't know who is who now in this game, uh, which base, which Artem buff a lot of time there, he will finally lose his army, but what a huge work, he just literally crushed his entire side. Save these people like a good leader is. It sounds like call of it, you know, with his little GTs. Every time holding the game, one versus four, and even sometimes winning against the best teams with lowest players. are not low players, that's not what I meant. I love my, my GT bobs. They are all nice guys. I never had a single trouble with a GT. Hmm. No, only with Pirate, but Pirate is a fun guy, I love him. Pirate, I will give you the third place of the toxicity. First place, Stoneman. Second place, me. And you get the first, the third place, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Ahmed is reproducing Asapito as well. He had a second base, three town hall immediately. 
recover his eco fast. And now their mission will try to get back the base of ASAP on this side, and same for Union, they need to take back the base of Nexus. Classic cat weasel already with cannons. I mean, it's 28 minutes, but the game is that hard for everybody and Costonerus in gold and munition and everything. You cannot see any artillery anywhere. Even on Artem's Pro, he probably sent resources to his team. But as usual, the first people who get artillery, the king of artillery, the king of the king of the king is... My Bob. The great mighty leader of Kachier, that thing who exists than more than, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years of Cossacks. What you can do against that? 17 years we are there and still crushing people. Ay ay ay. When it will stop, I don't know. Certainly not with my general. Because he's. We have a spe special look. Color fit will be so happy to see that. You see, color? Artem made Raiders. I think only for you. He knew that I would stream that game again. And now he's attacking with Raiders. A nice combination. Raiders and Shooters there. On the Antorha's flank. He want to give space maybe to Dendi to not let them take this ba base back. Forced to relocate the army again, but we have Cat Weasel pushing on this side with a lot of shooters as well. 17 dragoons and mercenaries. And look the huge work of Artem there again. They need to group up again, Antochas and Ahmed, to reboot Artem. Cannon shot of Cat Weasel behind. Dendi came from behind as well. That's a mess. We have Cat Weasel. Keep pushing there. We'll get rebooted. Wow. Such a mess. Now Dendi is doing a nice job there, nice comeback from, from Dendi. But he will get rebooted there because too much units. And now they take back position here. It's a huge game. Ooh, yeah. Bobby's. in their views. Why I can't? Ah. That's what Artem Pro, Artem Pro's team see. And that's what Cat Weasel team or Asap's team or Antofa's team or whatever you want see. No need to say guys, you will need to pay me for uh, this one hour and half uh, game. Uh, yes, because I took my time for you, so you can make donations for the next Kajia tournament I will organize soon, or you can as well make donations on Call of Duty stream for that video. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding guys. It's okay. Chill. 
Keep your mom. I'll give it to the good moment. Cannons from Artem. Cat Weasel. That's what I loved in this game because it was like the best player of the game of Cossacks 1 versus the best player of Cossacks 3 fighting each other. And I need to say Cat Weasel is not playing the game at all those times. So It's a nice warm up for him, I think. I mean, the time I was playing, he was the best. It was as well some Union fighter, legendary good player. You can say as well, he was one of the best. But Cat Weasel, my time was impeccable by anyone. But la now he's getting crushed. On the other side, we have Antoja who came back, Asapito who press Mr. Uh, Dendi. Dendi with USARs of 18th century, that's interesting. Look at this cat weasel get rebooted by three people there. Yes. Look that mess. Can you understand what is happening in this game? Which team is with who or who started where or... And look the movement of that uh, Russian and Ukrainian team. They are close to each other and move together like Artem is probably speaking to them on Discord. And they have a nice synergy with their team. And I think it's a bit different on the other team. We have more uh, individual really good players, but they are not working a lot together. Ahmed, for example, or Mr. Antoha, who's doing Antoha things. But he's always efficient. Anyway, when he's doing something, it's not bullshit. So we trust Antojito. Asapito, Ahmedito, Catwezelito, Antojito, Nexusito, Maikito, Dendito, Artemplotito. In Spanish. Where is my metagod? Fuck. Wow, that huge cannon shot from Artem Pro. He has a lot of cannons there, maybe he captured them from Catwezel or. Wow, oh, yeah, yeah, look this. Look this red army. It's totally a mess there on this front union is taking the advantage, but Cat Weasel is coming on the side to grind the army. They need to regroup and reform on the middle. Ahmed is here as well. The Raiders of Art Emperor worked, worked well in this game. Wow, look this. Oh. Bye boys. What a comeback from Union in this game. Huge performance. And now I, at this stage of the game I was watching and saying to myself, okay, that's that's GG guys. That's GG, thank you for watching this game and blah blah blah. Ah. I'm not speaking about the upgrade, etc, etc, because there is too much thing to watch in this game, so I just, I'm just in rob mode, you know, spectator, and, and yeah.
song reason. Oh. There it is. And now, 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 I will take back all bases, I guess. Make one big front. It's sick to see everybody still alive in this game. I mean, it's rare. We have a little black bobbies. You can breathe, you can go make a tea, you have one minute. Classic cat weasel. That's my cat weasel, look at him. <laughs> Just in case, you know? If we make artillery and tower, no matter what. Ay, 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 my bob. A chance for you, he didn't decide to play Cossack Street for it. He's a walking man. Busy guy, actually. The mines of Asapito will be taken back. So we have a cat weasel there facing Artem. We have 18 barracks from Nexus. Huge army there. So Dendi and Nexus, who were literally down to the start, are definitely back in the game with this big army. I would say same for Asapito and and Ahmed too. It will be interesting to watch this game in, I don't know how to say, slow motion or fast motion or you know what I mean. Just watch the minimap and watch all the movements army. Cannon shot, we have a huge army there, Cat Weasel cannot handle that alone, but he has multi-barrels. Ahmed will help support him. Eighteen barracks from Cat Weasel. Everybody must have almost eighteen barracks. Eight of us too. Artem start to be really aggressive with his cannons. He's saying to Cat Weasel, You like cannons, I will show you cannons. And bam! Huge fight there. Cat Weasel is forced to engage. Let's hope the multi barrel will do damage. The Yusas from Asapito. Look, Asapito. Always the same, the same with this guy. The Gandalf Cavalry. Look. Wait to the first light of the fifth day and blah 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 and you will see blah, blah, blah. you you know what what Gandalf is saying every time that's Asapito and yeah Cat with a lost this fight but half of army of our time is crushed there we have whoa big engage as well from every side Antocha is fighting versus Nexus Dendi versus Asapito. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. I cannot 
recognize and this side win this side win and this side win but it's Only Dendi has still competent army. Yumi Kanonen. Dendi will try to press and and all the gods in the battle, oh, big cannon shot at the dragons, again, this is a nice sniping, whoa, yo, yo, pop, 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 Bobby, ah, again, look at them, they are literally crushed by the cannons, that's really sad, and now the grenadiers, who is this sniper with cannons, it must be a sapito, Toha. Finally, they reboot Dandy, and here Union send everything they got because they, they know they have space and they have a chance to finish someone literally in this game. We have beautiful walls there. Probably because they felt the pressure of the Red Army. The question is will they? Enter in Berlin. Look to towers, these cannons. At this stage of the game, who will win? Hmm? Who you think will win? Tell me. Ah, you can tell me. Of course. That's how it goes. Cat Weasel, king on his heel. King of the castle. King of the castle. on the middle, Asapito and Toha and Ahmed trying to reboot that huge wave. Now we have pikemans of 18th century, so it's more units, more blood share, I don't know how to say, more meat. They are just there to die basically, and to protect the shooters behind. Is still pushing. Cat Weasel there sending everything almost all in, but yeah, he it's <laughs> look Cat Weasel is making wolf and stuff. He has a heal, another tower behind, multi parallel. Crazy guy. And the wave of those guys now is not enough powerful. They have a nice line of shooters there. And they will get rebooted finally. While Art Empro is sitting, Cat Weasel he isolate Cat Weasel, but for the moment it doesn't matter. 
because if Catweasel is isolated, Artem is relocated there, and this is good for that team. And Artem is forced to pack and. <sighs> okay, guys, I will take another juice, it's enough. Tak, dobrze. Let's go. How we go again, Bobs? Remembers you it's only really good players in this game and there is a nice team communication I repeat from the Russian team there Artem Pro and Mike choose to attack together Catweasel and Catweasel will lose a huge amount of cannons there that's terrible. Maybe we save them. No, we delete them. Antoha tried to push Dandy, the two car, car RS fighting together. Nexus reinforcement with Usars. Artem and Mike crushing the Asap's army who just went. He came, I mean, he came to help Catwizzle. Give him a little time. Question is what's. what Ahmed is doing? Ahmed too. Now it's a mess again. One hour game. What the fuck? Pressure from Den from Dendi on his side, but he has not a good angle there. I would see that, that, and that. But we have the other incoming as well. They forced to back Ahmed behind the walls. They have walls and cannons and towers, so he there as well. And Union is crashing basically. Huh? All those artillery and towers, it's a mess, it's hard to see what is happening really. With the cannon shot destroy when they have a huge advantage of units, the artillery destroy everything. And we have Catwizzle sitting here versus Mike. Mike who tried to just hold this side when they try this time to finish this side, they try another time to finish, but on another side, they just abandoned the, the heat of Cat Weasel for, his, for some reason.
Ayo, do do, do do, do do, do do. Look that guy, fanatic. <laughs> Look at him. He want to sit there and create a front with towers. Which is not a bad idea. But will he succeed? This amount of armies, uh, of units, I mean, those waves. Just there to die. No. Catwizel is fighting there. He chose to fight Mike on this side because he see his team has trouble. And Mike lost this fight basically. And then force Artem's team to cancel their push and reform another front there it's it's a sick game basically yeah, we can say <sighs> I can't hear because of you truth Be an honest guy with yourself, you cannot know who will win. <laughs> Surprise! Mike and Nexus together now versus Catweasel. Then he will take the side against Antocha, it's like the two brothers of Karius need to, to challenge each other. Wall. Towers again. Wow. It's 
beautiful to see the actually the two most powerful teams the three most almost Kajia and Union and KS as well because Doha is one of the best players of the game fighting against each other and make some quite draw game like this I mean Artem did a nice job with Nexus Mike and uh, Kniv and uh, those Union's player because they weren't that strong three or four months ago and after playing with him almost every night and playing huge games against us now they are really competitive and dangerous players and that's always a pleasure f for us to play against them Artem Pressure as Sapito, Catwezel is attacking Mike and Nexus, what a mess guy the users of Nexus in the shooters of Catwezel The multi-barrel, you hear that sound? On this side, we have Artem Pro fighting versus Ahmed this time, with Asapito helping him on the top. Uh, Artem get destroyed there, but he's quite alone against two armies. And finally, Mike and Nexus will almost take down Catwezel. Now they will go on the other side to help. There is a huge front of towers there from Mr. Mike, the green towers. And not the twin towers, the green towers, I promise. Another shot. Catweather is still here. Asapito still here, Ahmed here. We have no army left for Nexus, unfortunately, who standed on Yusa's too long, I think. Mike here. And I probably missed something there from Antohas and Dendi. I think Dendi get crushed by Mr. Potato and Toha. I don't know why Potato, but they call him like that on Discord. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. And now, Antoha take the advantage, definitely. Or maybe not. You see my little uh, Volos, Volvos, when you will be pro, you can play games like that, Bobby. Dandy try to send all his last strength in the battle, the peasants, everything he need to reboot and to hard this game is maybe lost for them. And you want too much power shooting from Antoha and cannons. There we have no army left for, for Nexus and just still Mike and Artem Pro holding. But I think now we start to have a winner in this game. Winners. Because they are four. But after play this game, I think everybody is happy because it was intense and really hard for almost everybody. 
basically only and no even not only Artem's base were untouched Cat Weasel a little but for a moment you get damaged here Artem try to save the day again against Antocha but yeah it's too much armies now they are struggling step by step Artem will still reboot Antocha I think doing a huge work in this game to be honest he was literally the best player of this game I think and I'm really surprised about Cat Weasel gameplay after didn't play that long Sap destroy the buildings step by step. Barracks. Everything is down there. It's a huge damage. But Artem want to fight till the end. Like a GT, you know. Took example on Call of It probably. And yeah, that's GG guys, GG, beautiful game, 1 hour 20 minutes, I think it's, it's quite okay for everybody, if you hunted that long it means, it's me, it means you are a nice Cossacks people. Still need you, Bobby's beautiful. Now, I will just show you the statistics, the upgrades. I mean, at this stage of the game, everybody has every upgrade, you know. But the resources I want to see if possible Art and Pro 10 million food, but not a lot of gold. I'm a bit surprised he need to he needed to feed uh, his team probably a lot of time because he couldn't upgrade his mine he had not a really good macro uh, in gold but a lot of food so 10 million for Antoha we have the same amount of gold but we have stone as well we have 7 million for Dendi a lot of wood Dendi it's not good man to kill the forest we need it to breathe please and uh, asapito 6 million 1 million stone stone economy asapito lost his base so cannot have the best eco uh, of the game but still not not bad the coal and empty iron it's a lot for everybody union mike 5 million food Union Mike who lost his base first, I think. Yeah. Uh, five million food, wood. Ahmedito, same. Four million. Cat Weasel. Four hundred gold. That's very good. Eight million food. That's a nice eco. That's a nice eco. Nexus, 
one million three or oh, three million stone. That's not bad. Two gold stone co. The gold winner is Mr. Catweasel, and the food winner is Mr. Artem Pro. And uh, yes, I think we're done there, guys. I hope you enjoyed to watch this game. Maybe I will give you some more later. Sorry for my broken English. And uh, yeah, I love you, everybody, Bobbies. See you. Goodbye and have a nice day.